ready for a spooky story. Ah! Oh. Uh, um, Kayla, I thought we came to the park for a sleepover. You know, s'mores and snores. <laughs> Cameron knows what I'm talking about. Winston, I didn't know you were such a scaredy cat. Please, Lola, I am a scaredy owl. Back to our spooky story. On a night very much like this one, I was alone in Squishville Park, squishing my way home when... Ah! <sighs> That's just a tree branch. What if I turn off the flashlight? Huh? Ah! <sighs> Okay, lights back on. Oh, where was I? Oh, right, squishing home when I saw a bunch of scary lights. <gasps> oh, fireflies, they're just fireflies. Flies made out of fire? This is getting out of hand. Relax, everyone. I brought a fire extinguisher. What? I like to be prepared. Please carry on, Kayla. Fine. I was squishing home, moon shining bright. Then I hear... <laughs> it's just the wind. Now, can I please finish my spooky story? Sorry, Our as bad. you were, KK. <sighs> on a night very much like this one, I was alone in Squishville Park, squishing my way home, when all of a sudden I heard a growl, then a crunch by the tree. So I hopped up to investigate and discovered... <gasps> that my secret stash of s'mores had been eaten. Every last piece. I never found out who or what ate my s'mores, but some nights when I walk through the park, I can still hear the growling and crunching of Cameron. Uh, oh, uh, there might be one more left if anybody's hungry. All stocked up with delicious treats. Open sign is in good working order. All we need now are customers. Welcome to Winston's Bakery. How can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for an art supply store. Sorry to bug. <laughs> Wait, how about a free sample? Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, as long as you're here. I call those Winston Goes Bananas on account of their banana flavored. <sighs> Super duper yum! I want to buy like a hundred cupcakes, but I don't have any money. I don't suppose you do a trade. Cash is preferred, but what do you have in mind? You need customers and I need those banana cupcakes. So I will transform this boring wall into an amazing mural that absolutely every squish must take a picture with. And you give me some sweet treats in exchange. Why will Squishmallows want to take a picture with this mural so badly? Squishagram, pigs and clicks, hello? Hello? I don't know too much about that stuff, but okay, let's give it a shot. Great, I'll go get my paints. Hey, you don't know if there's an art store around here, do you? I still need a paintbrush. This will be my greatest creation. Oh. I call it Mr. Cupcake. Snap a quick pic. Say Squishagram. <laughs> Camilla, you have more than earned your cupcakes. I so have. Lola, Fifi, Cameron. So nice of you all to come for a visit. Uh, right. We're here to see you. Huh? I should go see what Lola's up to. You're here to see Mr. Cupcake, aren't you? Maybe. Yes. <sighs> go ahead. <laughs> I'll be fine here. <laughs> Need help, Cameron? Well, I could use some help cheering, Danny. Come on, guys. Yeah. You can do it. You're a pretty good sport, Cam. Well, I figured if I couldn't be good at sports, I'd be a good sport. <laughs> I like how you think, buddy. <laughs> Found a barely 
delicious lollipop. <laughs> Squishmallows, only 10 seconds left in the pie eating contest. Oh man, I'm not even good at pie eating contests. You got this, Lola. Come on, Winston. That's the boy, Danny. No luck today, Cameron. <laughs> Me? Uh. I guess I'm still looking for what I'm best at. What do you like to do? I like singing. <gasps> Sing us a song! Oh, if you really want me to. <gasps> I'm the positive one. Yes, I'm the positive one. Sure, I'm not that good, but boy, I had some fun. Is there any question who the worst is? It's me! But when I'm on your cheering squad, or fill you up with glee, I'll tell everyone I know that you're the best that you can be. Because I'm the woo-hoo guy. Hip, hip, hip! Wait, don't do that! <gasps> I'm terrible at gymnastics. Everyone's so excited about your fashion show debut, Shuri. But Lola, they said, a sloth on the runway? That's crazy. You know what I told them. Fashion is about taking chances. <gasps> Places, people, look alive. Cameron, I'm nervous. Hey, want to hear a trick I learned? Pretend everybody in the crowd is naked. Then you won't feel nervous or self-conscious. But, Cam, you're naked. See? It's working already. Here goes nothing. Ladies and gentle squishes, modeling the hottest fall fashions from Lola's boutique, please give it up for Cherie! Woo yeah! Yeah! What's happening? Why is she going so slowly? Is time even moving? <laughs> She's a sloth, Lola. And you know what they say, sloths gonna sloth. Ugh, literally no one says that, Cameron. Shree, doing great, girlfriend. One note, maybe speed it up just a teensy bit? Ugh, what am I gonna do, Cam? At this rate, it'll take days for Shree to model my whole fashion line. Hmm, sounds like you need a plan C. Plan C? C for Cameron! Me! I'll model your clothes! I don't suppose you have a plan D. <gasps> okay, fine. You're up! Yes! You may regret this! Hey, <laughs> A very wise Squishmallow once told me fashion is all about taking chances. That was me, Cam. Hey, Fifi. Yeah, Winston? Realize I should have brought this up earlier, but what do you expect to find at the top of this very cold, very tall mountain? I'm so glad you asked. Legend has it that those who reach the peak of Mount Squishmore will discover a secret town in the valley below. What are the odds they'll have secret hot chocolate? Or a secret day spa? Ooh, what about a secret massage chair? Wait, I think I see something. Well, Fifi's right, look. Even more beautiful than I imagined. Oh, I feel like I could almost reach out and squish it. Cameron, be careful. I would like a ticket for that express train as well. After you, my lady. Oh, I just had my hair done. Get 
guess we go that way. Uh, pardon me, friend. What is the name of this place? What is the name of this place? <laughs> you heard him, everyone! Welcome to Squishville, we hope you have fun. We squish and we squish and we squish till we're done. It's really quite dramatic, cause we're all just so emphatic. Sometimes we sing, sometimes we rap, and sometimes we just take a nap. Welcome to Squishville. What's that name again? Good morning, Lola. Hey, Winston. Got anything de low delicious today? Not sure what that means, but I did just finish frosting my new spicy mango cupcakes. Wanna try one? Uh, I'm not so sure I like spicy stuff. First one's on the house. <laughs> I love it. You're the bestest baker in all of Squishville. <gasps> you have to come on my baking show. I bet you could win. What? You really think so? Welcome back to Delolalicious. I'm your host, Lola. <laughs> We're down to our final three competitors. Beepy, Cameron, and Winston. But it's up to our judge, Noah, to seal the deal. <laughs> I don't get it. So, Mr. Noah Boa, who is the champion baker? Embarrassing. <laughs> Let's never speak of this day again. And I'm home. <sighs> well, this is a fun birthday surprise. <laughs> Cammy, have you been baking? <sighs> frosting, frosting, frosting. Cameron! <laughs> hey, Fifi, uh, you're home early. I know, this looks bad, but I made you birthday cupcakes! Hmm, I mean, I tried to, but then I ate a bunch of frosting, and it made me really sleepy, and then I ran out of frosting, and now here we are. Cam, if you really want to give me a birthday surprise, you can clean up after yourself. You bet! And I will be right with you after a very quick catnap. Oh. Can you set the cycle to sleep? Oh. Is that a no? Uh, Fifi, what's wrong? I appreciate that you tried to bake me cupcakes, but I've spent half my birthday cleaning up after you. Well, I know. I so feel bad about that. And I think I should feel even worse, but I can't remember why. Gene, the clean machine is on the scene. Oh, that's why. I hired Gene to clean the house as your birthday present. No clean machine? I'm sorry, Fifi. That's okay, Cam. I know you were trying to make my birthday better. Luckily, I had a backup plan. A strawberry birthday cake. Just in case all this happened. My favorite! Woohoo! <laughs> Gene is back on the scene.
clean to clean. <sighs> I've never loved a hat so much in all my life. Twinkly fabric, gold stitching, what appears to be the feather of some exotic bird. <sighs> But I could never afford something so glamorous and glitzy. Tell you what, Fifi. How about I let you borrow the hat for a day? I know you'll take good care of it. You do that for me? Just promise that whenever someone asks where you got it, you'll tell them Lola's Boutique. <laughs> sure, whatever. Thanks, Lola. I feel like she didn't hear that last part. Hello, Fifi. Can I interest you in a croissant? Maybe a tart. Pile of melting chocolate. <gasps> that one's a mistake and should not be for sale. I apologize. No, thank you, Winston. Nothing for this fancy lady. Uh, uh, okay, maybe just one. They're all talking about your hat, Beefy. Literally nothing can ruin this moment. <gasps> Have you seen my hat? Very beautiful fedora with a large exotic cockatiel feather. Cockatiels aren't exotic. Uh, you're no help. Ooh, how much for that melted pile of chocolate? For you, my friend, half price. Winston, terrible news. I lost my hat. Oh, was this not my hat? <laughs> I honestly couldn't remember. <laughs> Cameron, it's not your hat but it does really bring out the pink in your nose. Thank you. <sighs> I can't take the pressure. Wait, can I? No, I thought I could, but I can't. Guess I'm not a hat squish mallow after all. <sighs> I'm never gonna sell that hat. <laughs> kite flying day, kite flying day. So many kites that I can't look away. Kite, kite flying, flying day. day, yes it's kite, kite flying, flying day. Big kites and small ones and long kites and tall ones. Blue ones and white ones and short ones and slight ones. Kites to excite and delight and surprise if us. Your kite is the best, you will win lots of prizes. Wait, are there multiple prizes per category? Uh, technically. No, just one prize in each category, but a lot of prizes overall. One each for best looking kite, highest flying kite, and biggest kite. Is that right? But three is hardly a lot. Do you get what we're saying? Uh, okay. Well, I, I have to get back to judging now. Leonard is always in such a hurry. Let's go look at some more kites. Kite flying day, kite flying day. So many kites that we can't look away. James, I'm prepared to give you today's award for biggest kite. Wait, Cameron's coming with the biggest kite you've ever seen. Oh, that is an unusually large kite, Cameron. But can it fly? Uh, fly? Tell you what, I'll give you a few minutes to figure it out. If you get this baby sailing, give me a buzz. <laughs> Leonard, I'm flying the kite. <laughs> well, actually, it's flying me, but uh, that still counts, right? <laughs> uh, anyone seen Cameron? Huh, it's not like him to miss an award ceremony. Three is a few prizes, not a lot. A modest collection at best. I wonder where Cameron went. Oh, well. We'll get him next year, giant kite. <laughs> it's game night. Squish new game night. Bring your game face because it's playtime. It's game night. Competition friendly friction. It's game night. Pizza rolls and guacamole. Oh, this tastes tuna casserole. Checkers, chess will have a ball. No matter what, I'll win them all. It's game night. But one must win and one must fall. Yeah, what she said. Let's all play go fish instead.
Do you have any threes? Oh, the suspense is killing me. Go fish. Oh, she did it again. Hannah, take it down a notch. How about a nice, calm game of hide-and-seek instead? Only if it's extreme hide-and-seek. Extreme! This may have been a bad idea. Found you, Lola! <gasps> oh, I wasn't hiding. Just trying on Fifi's clothes. Is this a good color for me? Gazoon tight. I know you're in the toilet, Cameron. Ah, uh, nuts! This, this is, is my spot. spot. I found it I first. I found it first. Come out, come out, wherever you are! I don't do tie games. Should someone tell her we're all done playing? Eh, she'll figure out soon enough. <laughs> They'll never find me here. <laughs> I'm so proud you overcame your fear of skateboards, Maui. Oh, thanks, Fifi. Now all I have to do is conquer my fear of singing, scuba diving, roller coasters, rollerblading, tall trees, and clouds that look like dogs. <laughs> Not a good time, Cloud Dog. Hey, how about we stop into Winston's and celebrate? We're going to celebrate conquering my fear of skateboards? Absolutely! Why, any old time is a good time for celebrating. Isn't that right, Fifi? That's right, Winston. In fact, I bet you can find something to celebrate every day. Every day? Oh, Billy Goats, you know I have a fear of spontaneous singing. Get over it, kid. We're doing this. If I may throw my two cents in, state my case and do some convincing to spread joy without equivocation, we should find time for everyday celebration. That's right, and I will add for the sake of posterity. Did you guys plan this? If I may speak with such temerity. When life is feeling tough and your day's been kinda rough, don't forget to celebrate the small stuff! What's happening now? It's Maui time! Oh, I'm terrified! Own it! Celebrate it! I didn't know that I'd have to do this Confront my fear inside a bakery You'll get there! As I sing, I think I'm getting stronger In fact, I think I'll sing a little longer When everything is great Cheer, no need to wait. Make some time for everyday celebration. I did it. I conquered my fear of singing. And I'm going to celebrate right now with a fresh croissant. We are sold out. I was afraid you'd say that. 